Welcome back. In the previous part, we saw ending A. Now it's time for us to head off to the B route. I, I believe that's what it's called. So let's load up the save we created at the end. This one down here. And we should be playing as 9S now. So we'll see how different he plays. So load the save file. Start game. Oh, I forgot it would have had a loading screen, wouldn't it? Of course. I really wish it would change, just... Maybe if because we're going to be 9S, like, the loading screen would change. Some, something like that. Ah, well. Ah, well. Oh, well, this is clearly not 9S unless we're following the ending, but I doubt it because he didn't have a brother, so this is weird playing as one of these guys. Can I jump? Yeah! I mean, it's sad, but, you know, I can jump, so it's funny. So I can do that or jump. Some of those horrible snake bosses over there. I need to find something to repair his brother? Or her brother? Some oil over there. Maybe that'll help. If I give my brother this, he'll move again. I need a container. Oh. It is actually that. And where can I get a container? I can see a... like a... It looks like there's a bucket over here, so we'll go get a bucket. I can use this. Good. Let's get that. On your head! Oh, still moving. I thought maybe it was going back on its own. I can't run. That's a bit unfortunate. Just want to know if we're going to fix it. It will be okay now, brother. Did that need to be a scene I couldn't control? Please tell me 9S isn't going to come in here and destroy this little one. It would just be a bit heartbreaking at the start. Like, don't do it. What was that? I saw something shimmer over there. You're there. Is it just stuff coming out of the... Out of the factory? It's quite worrying. Just want to know what's going to happen. I can hear, hear, that wasn't making the noise before, so. Brother, brother. Doesn't matter how much oil you give him, little guy. You can't make a machine your brother. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> looks like it's time. There we go then. They veered off course a bit, didn't they? Operator 210 to Unit 9S. Come in, 9S. 9S here. Go ahead. The Yorha troops have commenced their descent. Disable the enemy base's defense systems immediately. Roger that. Of course, we're going to have a different operator, aren't we? Because this isn't um, 2Bs. What's this? Ooh. I'm gonna go look at this chest first that I saw all the way over here. What does that mean? I mean, obviously, it means getting a flight unit down there, but. Let me see what this is about. Alert. 
Proceed with mission operations immediately. Very well. So I'm very wary of things. Proceed with mission operations immediately. Ever since that mackerel, I'm very wary of things. Looks like we'll carry on. Didn't see any shinies or anything like that that indicated I had to go over there. I could go over there. Alert. Defense systems cannot be reached from the ground. It's fine then. Fine. Get in the ship. I got it. Or whatever it is. Flight unit. Can always come back later. I assume I can anyway. Whoop. Right, let's see if this is basically the same does seem to be. I assume I've not got oh, I have got my pod missile rocket one. Okay. That's that's still there, that's good. So it's carried over that, because I've I saw it carried over my XP. I'm just wondering if it's carried over much else. I'll have a look at some point, but for now we'll carry on the way we're going. I mean, I can't really deviate from the path, can I? That much. I'm gonna test his big skill, because I've not tested it yet. Oh, it's just basically the same. I mean, it makes sense, because it's the um, flight unit more than anything that does that. That's the one that gets me, like, oh god. Is that auto healed? Because we know he's gonna die at the start, so what happens there? I, are, are all these memories we're having now basically going to be erased? So we can see what happened from his point of view in terms of his memories, basically. Just an interesting take on it. I wonder how different this is going to be, though. Most of it should be the same, shouldn't it? Maybe just a, a bit of a different gameplay style. Here and there. We'll need you to take down the enemy's defense systems to give our attack squadron a chance. You have four targets that need to be hacked. Be advised that hostiles have been detected around each target and must be defeated before continuing. Like I was saying, a bit, a bit of a different gameplay, so let's try and go... Oh, there we go. Yeah, because I knew he had a hacking thing, didn't he? Got a little glimpse of that. Previously. Fighting's not my thing. Has this got any of a special abilities or anything like that? Oop. That definitely has. Do I have to hack everything, or can I just kill them? Because it's like... She said four, but I'm assuming it's not these things. Assuming I can just... Fly by them! I assume, anyway. Oh god. Again, glad for that auto-heal. Big skill. Should take out a few of them. Nice. Okay, I, I really should. Like, can I not hack things and then they're in my control? Because that would be nice. It's level 31. I can't do anything about it, really. So let's get in there. Maybe I can hit it. Maybe I can target it and triangle on it then. Yes, there we go. Okay. The target is now accessible. Yeah, yeah. One affirmation will suffice. Fine. I like the one affirmation. It's like, all right, all he said was yeah, yeah. Jeez. Anyway, we've got to hack it. Oh, I'm going to hold it. Ooh, hello. Does it just take out the black squares? That's generally it. 
Oh, I've got, I've got a time limit. I was going to say, I've got a time limit or something, because then it'll be a bit more tense. Hacking complete. That's how you hack, by the way. That's how it is in real life. Hacking complete. Proceed to the next target. It's like just back up, back up. I like the fact I can hack everything then. It would be nice if maybe I could hack something and then take over it. Although we didn't actually see that happen in um, 2B side of the events, did we? So. I doubt it would happen at all. Here's what hack that one. What happens? Oh, I do. I was going to say, do I have a health bar or anything in here? And it's like, I had a bit chop off on the back of that one then. Boom! See, it'd be nice if I could control that or something. That would have been interesting. Alright, so let's get through here as quickly as possible. How much XP are we getting from these? It's not great, is it, really? It could be more. You got trapped behind the pipes, kids. Go, lovely jubblers. I like how the firing sort of went the opposite way then. Like, the left ones went to the right and the right ones went to the left. Could have been my eyes playing tricks, though, but I doubt it. I doubt that was happening. Anything else to shooty shoots? There we go. It's like that's very. Like, there's nothing there, etc. Alright, so hacky, hacky, hacky. Right, it's twin stick basically, that section. Really? Alright, so hacky, hacky. It is like I gotta shoot straight away. It's like, oh, what's the best way here? Doesn't really matter from the looks of it. Can I level up his hacking or something like that? I mean, I get XP from it. Hacking complete. Two targets remain. I figured that. If I've taken out two and I need four, I can do basic maths. Jeez. Or oh, math. Sorry, if it were American, it would be math. Is it more than Americans that say math, though? I don't know, because we say maths here in Britain, but I don't know what it's like elsewhere. I think Australians say maths as well. Like us? I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter in the end, does it? Sometimes I do say math, though. Sometimes it feels more appropriate to say that than maths. It just depends. Because I, I see maths as plural. But if I'm only doing a simple sum, I usually say math. Like, I've done the math. Because it's it's a singular. It's, it's a weird way to view it, I know, but... I do do that. I do do that. Let's, let's make sure we heal up here. It's a good job I got some healing items left over. From our adventures is to be... Do you need to look at, like, his, um, chips and whatnot? Make sure they're all sorted. We definitely need to hack one of them. And then we'll hack the other one straight after. There we go, getting better at that. Hack the other thing. Oh, God. So I can destroy the orange ones, got it. Okay, so it's just bullet hell. On a slightly smaller scale. Got it. That was close. Got it at a time limit. I was like, I'll take my time with that. Just gotta wait for that now. It's like, come on. Seems a bit more tricksy. Whip through, whip through, whip through, whip through. One target remains. Man, this is a real pain. May I remind you that personal chatter during operations is restricted? Fine. Oh, God, can we have 6 0 back? Because 6 0 was awesome. She's just grumpy and moody. It's like, oh, God. No. No. Drive to a character to be a good operator from the sounds of it. Just get the job done. 
It's not good for morale or anything like that, is it? Because they clearly do have all, all emotions, etc. As we've learnt over the course of this game. And they even know that themselves. Oh god. They're shooting a bit more than I expected. Yeah. Just waiting for some big laser thing again. Just to sort of get me part of the way around. Back up, back up. Oh, we got another big ones. Let's see if I can take these out the conventional way this time. Or is it? Oh, it's just four gathered up from the looks of it. Looked like one of the big ones that needed hacking. I needed to do it like a burp then, but I did like a weird half yawn, from what I can tell. I, d I don't know how to describe it other than a weird half yawn. I know. I don't even know what one is either. Quack, 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 quack. Choo, choo, choo. Gotcha. Hacking of enemy defense system complete. Our attack squadron can now infiltrate the base. You are to continue providing support by whatever means available. Whatever means? So you mean go hack everything? Why don't you just say go hack everything? If you're gonna be like that, say go hack everything. Don't like her. Don't like her at all. I want 6-0 back. Level up, oh. 6 0 was awesome. I miss her. Yorha has entered the base. However, there is only one unit remaining. Ooh, must have been rough out there. The enemy's defensive weapon is making things more difficult than we estimated. Are they, is that it? That, that's, that's all you've got to tell us? Oh, I really, really dislike his operator. At the moment, anyway, you know, things can change. Like, she could lighten up and maybe that's the story of his operator, like we had that thing with the flower, the desert rose. Now she loved that. You can have a similar thing happening here, where she lightens up and starts to appreciate the smaller things in life. It's unlikely, based on her personality at this point, but you never know. Okay, the question is, can I hack during this bit? No, from the looks of it. But I tried, and we're not getting nothing. So this, so I can't target it, so I can't see if I can hack it while targeting, sort of thing. All right, big skill while we're next to it. There we go. Get a load of that thing. Firing missiles. <sighs> Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, ma'am. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. She's got the weapons I gave her. Just noticed at the end there. So back to this, because it is like, well, what did Ninus do during the, the initial part of the game? 2B? Uh, ma'am? What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. 
hoping to find out like there's more history behind them or something. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. Yeah, it's, it's that bit. He's like, he forgets that later on because his memories from this mission aren't saved. So it is like, what's his experience going to be when he wakes up? That's, that'll be the interesting bit. Does he just get briefed on what happened? And like we learnt towards the end of um, the previous playthrough, like Route A, is it still him in that regard? It's like, is this a different 9S to the one we play as later, basically? Did, did, is this all he did during the time, during the start? Just go up a giant tunnel that seems to go on forever. Like, how big is this tunnel? Seriously. I'm glad I've got these rockets, though. They make it nice. Ooh, that looks cool. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. But now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. I wasn't expecting there to be shooting during the scene. What? What? It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Well, we know that's not true now. Thank you for another day of hard work. Please back the story of a job well done. Didn't I say what last time at the same bit before 2B? I think I did. Uh, I just want to make sure I stay healed up there. It's these side bits, when we get like that, that I've got an issue with. The targeting, not targeting, the dodging doesn't seem to work as well as anywhere else. There's a certain range. Like the range is a bit different. Something like that. Or feels different. Could be that. We done? No. Oh. It's, like, it's like, there's nothing here. It's like, we've shot everything. Seriously, though, we're still going up this tunnel. How's it not done? I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they... I don't know, moved it somewhere? Is that...? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like Command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. How did he know about the bridge, etc.? Has he got a camera? I assume he's got a camera. Got a live feed or something. Is there anything that would make sense? It's like, ow, 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 ow. Oh, God! Bullet hell crazies! Shoot this last one, then. You're not shooting them. 
See that, that'll take him out, surely. Simple. To be. What's going on? She appears to be engaging the target enemy. We have to help her. Let's go! Now do we leave the tunnel? To me! What's your status? This is the target. I'm going to destroy it. Uh, right. I'll provide support. Enemy analysis complete. Software vulnerabilities and penetration path detected. Displaying on HUD. I'll hack this thing and weaken it. Obviously we go for the arm. Why is it not? There we go. Wasn't carrying on. There we go. But it's angles. Like, is it the same angles, or are they all called angles? Maybe like it's their unit number or something like that, or designation. Wasn't level 40 when we faced it the first time, was it? Oh, oh, I was scratching my nose. I thought it had a little bit of time, but no. Come on, hacky, 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 hacky. Oh god. This is a bit different. I've got to take out the others first. Yeah, right, so take out the others first. And then I can get that one. But that's how you'd play that on a keyboard and mouse. Glad it went with the PS4 version. Ooh. I was going to say, what do I do during this bit? Just die? Redeploying in offline mode. Oh. Like, where am I? Recovery sector eliminate. It's, it's, it's like, uh, I'm trying to read it, but also play it. The lack of sound is very... I like this, repairing himself. But it, it, it is the lack of sound. It's like we need our hearing back, but don't we? Like the vocal thing, etc. There we go. It's nice. Voice functionality recovered. External sound input confirmed. Nina. I have to repair him. <laughs> Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines, then access the- Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair- Shut current... up! Just do what I say! To be... Just go. Me, you shut up too! We... We're soldiers. We take pride in... Our service. Uh. HO-229 Flight Unit, Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please...
Incoming enemy fighters detected. And Gaging. So this is what happened. It's like I was curious, like how they're gonna do the time skip at this point. Like what happened to him then? Just sat there and waited to die? That would have been interesting actually if we had to sit there for like another like three, four minutes. Just waiting and hearing stuff happening in the distance. This type of game, I wouldn't put it past it. Again, I really like I've got the rockets. Or may maybe I've got the rockets. Like, maybe I've not carried them over. Maybe he just had them anyway. So let me know. Is that, does, Did anybody play, like, the um, 2B playthrough and not pick up the rockets? And maybe then did they not start this one with rockets? So that would have been interesting. I do feel it is because I picked up the pod as 2B, though. Like, this is carried over. So there's a way to increase the speed there. The problem is, I still need to level up the pods. That's one thing I, I've neglected, basically. Because I know I can level them up. But I just didn't. Just didn't have required items or anything. I, ca I can't remember how to level up pods. That's the thing, I know you can. I just didn't. It's like, it, I really did just neglect it completely. Maybe this time, though. Maybe this time I'll change that and have a look at doing that. Because if we carried over our um, chips, etc., we should be okay for them. Was I meant to be level 20 at this bit or something? So I'm level 32, but everything seems to be level 20. Weaknesses found in enemy units. To be. I found a weakness in the target. Hacking in. To provide support. Oh, there we go. It's going to be more interesting than that, though. To be the control on the enemy's upper arm, you should pod should be able to take it over. I told you to shut up. Yeah. I was going to say, what are we hacking there? It looked like we were hacking 9S. This one's a bit more erratic. It's throwing me off. Seize its control system. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Behavior table adjusted. Balance controls overridden. Enemy unit subjugation complete. 2B has successfully commandeered the enemy unit. Continuing support. It's like just seeing like, has the arm actually gone? It's like, yeah, it's been lopped off. It'd be nice if this moved around. Like the background doesn't seem to be changing. So it doesn't feel like we're on the same giant machine. Upload 2B's memory data package. Alert, memory data for unit 9S has not yet been updated. It's fine. Upload 2B's data first. Affirmative. Why did he do that, though? Why, why choose her, her over himself? I'm wondering if we'll find out. Because I'd like an answer to that one. Just die already. We've got to see what, what's going to happen. Dodge it out the way. Oh, more of them! Come on, we know what's coming, so you die already. It's just shooty, 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 shooties. I'm hoping this is the last wave. It's, it's like five of them. Surely it's the last wave. Oh, There we go. You 
just die already! Talk about bringing the battle to them. Ought to be. Contact command. Request assistance. No. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. Oh, great. that <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box. It's ready. Right. <coughs> Requesting destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Doobie, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. Alright, here we go then. This is the bit that I've been wanting to see. What what happens to him? Because we don't play him now, do we? Oh, oh, of course. Just wake up the next day. Looks like it's time to help 2B get herself set up. She's probably waiting in her room now. It feels so weird. It's just like, of course, you wake up the next day. It's it's all nice and and lovely. Never really used this shop at all, did I? It's like, no. It's like, I, I never use those items either or anything like that. Save points? Oh, oh, yeah, the save points. I never got the fishing spot one because I don't do the fishing. Oh well. Let's go meet 2B then. As she wakes up. It is like, what does he remember? I've got mail. I'm going to read that first. Arcade? You unlock the arcade feature for access points. This lets you replay any hacking games you completed during the game. Nah, not too fussed about that. Alright, so, ooh. I can read two Bs? Alright, then it does look like they've got the same as well. Just weird that I've still got the messages. It's like, but they're from the future from his point of view. It's weird, but anyway, server manager, hacking library, all users. We have prepared a hacking library using combat data from your units. All hacks that have been encountered previously can now be revisited at your leisure. For safety's sake, however, those that have yet to be encountered have been excluded. Interested parties can access this new library from the server room of the bunker. Very well. Right. To be! Sorry to barge in on you. Oh, looks like you've already started. What's the triangle? Two B, can you hear me? I'm starting your boot sequence. First, you'll want to check your brightness settings. Right then, let's get started. We'll go through each adjustment in order. Let's start by getting the brightness set. Is this what I actually did? It seems to be. Okay, how does this look? Roger that. Oh, and I should probably let you know that this entire process is being recorded for posterity. 
That's creepy. Now let's take a look at your voice recognition settings. Seems your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't gonna work. I'm gonna call out to you now. Make sure you can hear my voice. Ma'am, are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, hello? Go ahead and adjust your settings so you can hear me, all right? Uh, adjust the settings until you can hear my voice. Uh, could you try and pick up the pace a little bit? This is getting embarrassing. Man, all right, are we good now? Well, I knew it took a bit of time to choose that answer. So that's going to be a bit weird. Oh, uh, thank you. Anyway, that takes care of the settings. <laughs> what the heck? My pulse rate is rising. Hmm. It seems to be back to normal now. How odd. Uh, hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. Oh, no. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? Huh? Wait, no. You need to leave that turned on. I said off so many times. Yeah, you can't really do that. It needs to be turned on except in very specific cases. I'm afraid I can't leave this as is, ma'am. Please give your permission. This is weird. Hey, come on now. I'm just trying to follow regulations here. Hey, come on now. I'm just trying to follow regulations here. Then I gave up. Okay, good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. That was weird. But awesome. What was I doing during this bit? Morning. Nine S. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. I see. Oh, don't worry. We Nine S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Nine S. Hmm. What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me, ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, man. Er, to be. That was... That was interesting. I... When he said he was recording it for pros posterity, I didn't expect it to actually be recording how long I took to interact with the menu and be doing, like, this conversation now as part of it. So that was... Very, very interesting to see. It's... Why did they do that? Is it just, just so, like, for this instance, where you'll be like, that was me doing that. So it's like, it definitely ties it in and you, you feel like the other story is still taking place at the same time and, and you're doing that at that time. I don't know. It's just an interesting choice, but funny. I like it. Right, so let's head out for a little bit. Right, so we'll end this part. Oh, well, we won't end this part here. We'll read the message. You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Oh yeah, I know that now. All right, so let's have a look at the inbox. We got, it's, it's, it's like, we got the test mail again. This message is intended for the verification of your mail account. Members who encounter problems with the mailing system should contact their supervisors as soon as possible. Right, so that's actually the time it is now. I've just noticed, you can tell what time I've done stuff. I didn't realize that. Or is... Yeah, these are... You can tell I played that in the morning. 
That's weird. I didn't know it did that. There's so many things in this game I'm still discovering. This is, I really love this game already. I really do. Right, so we're, we're done for this part. In the next part, we'll go off and see the commander. Again. So we'll see you then. Goodbye for now.